What's up guys, I'm Vinny And we are Spectre And to celebrate the release of our new song Back For You We're gonna give you some quick tips and tricks That might be interesting to use in your song So let's dive right into the project and check them out Ooh. Tip number one Use short and memorable hooks Yeah, basically I started when I found this chop So, uh, I tried to make something easy to sing And then I came up with this and something that's interesting about it is that when I first heard the song I thought that this hook only works because uh, each note has a different uh, length so boom bop boom boom bop they are the same note they make the groove work and they make the hook be more memorable exactly. that's something that drew my attention I think that uh, you might apply that to a lot of occasions in your, in your melodies So tip number two guys, always think on how you voice your chord. So in this case, I thought of the chords before we created the break, but in this case I didn't want the chords to sound full. So you can see that each one of those chords has only two notes. That makes the sound be like not exactly defined if it's major or minor. And for me it gave the vibe that the song needed. So in this case you can hear that the first chord is supposed to be a G minor, but it, it doesn't have the minor third. It wouldn't give the vibe that the song needed. Second chord would be a, a D sharp major. But if I added the major third and this voicing with the A sharp on top, it wouldn't also be what we needed. So I remove the, the major third and I lower one, one octave of the A sharp. And then gave this vibe to the song. Sometimes the song only needs two voices two uh, to the vibe. You, you need to get to. So that's something to keep in mind when you think, oh, it's so difficult to make chords, the chords have to be complex and sometimes they, they just don't. With the bass and the synths of the break, they sound like this. So tip number three, guys, is to use synths as your candy. So for instance, with the vocal, it sounds like, I can't, uh, na, na. if you put a little synth, in the middle, it sounds a little bit more interesting. So, I can't deny I like earth, wind, and fire too bad I'm a writer half the time. That's it. Here, candy. Okay, once I had the main idea, the next tip is always have a folder with your favorite samples and presets. In this case, those are usually my go to drums. Bum, bum, bum. They also help it to develop back for you much quicker. Next guys, let's talk vocals. Once you recorded your vocals and you have a bunch of takes, it's good to put all the good parts together that's called comping. So you have a nice flowing good lead vocal. Also, when recording your vocals guys, it's good to choose a certain aesthetic you want to go for. So for instance, if you're recording an R&B vocal, it's different from when you're singing pop music or musical theater. You want to have a different enunciation, the way you use your chest voice, your head voice, your mixed voice. So always pay attention to that when recording your vocals. It's very important to know how you want to interpret the song. And another cool thing that we did in the song is that we wanted a lot of cool melodies, but not all of them were fitting correctly in the arrangement. They were a little bit too much for being the lead melody. So what we did is that we processed it differently. We have the lead lead vocal, which is super compressed and has the correct reverb. And we have another channel that is basically a delay with a lot of distortion. And listen to how the lead vocal sounds Five people on the run, they got me excited. so that's it correct interpretation autotune melodyne compression reverb delay everything correct to make the vocal pop but we want to for example this melody also to be in the mix but it, it would be too much with the vocal so that's how they correlate one minute of Department. They kind of answer the lead melody. So another good thing to keep in mind when you're doing your vocals is layering and harmonies. So for instance, to make the hook fuller, we added some harmonies. 
and all together with the lid vocal without the processing. I got you, girl. Do not be Cute. <laughs> to sum up, record a lot of takes with the right interpretation. Choose the best parts, comp it all together. Make sure you get a good lead vocal so it can pop in the mix. Add harmonies and layers and use creative processing. Last tip, use your creativity on the build-ups. Not all of them must have the same old snare roll. Like in this case, where we played with a uh, synth automation. Yeah, so it's much more interesting and connects way better with the crowd. Yeah. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed and learned something with the video. Don't forget to stream back for you, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment sections down below. Yeah, thanks Revealed for having us, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye! Bye! bye.